The JFK Express was a unique train line. It ran from 1978 to 1990 and provided an alternative route to get to the airport from Midtown Manhattan. It was advertised as the train to the plane, the fastest way to the airport, and safe, clean, and cheap. But others ridiculed it as a waste of city resources, citing low ridership and the rising deficit of the MTA. Why was this train line so divisive? To start, let's explore why it existed in the first place. The first proposal for a link to JFK was in 1968 as part of the Program for Action. The link would run from Jamaica Station on the LIRR to the airport following the Van Wyck Expressway. In the 1970s, during the city's financial troubles, these plans were shelved. Instead of building an entirely new transit link, they decided to use already built railways to go to JFK. The original route of the JFK Express ran from Lexington Avenue 63rd, later Queensbridge 21st Street, to Howard Beach. When people got off the station at Howard Beach, they then hopped on a shuttle bus to reach the actual airport. The fare at the start was about $3.50. However, the cost of the train later rose to $6.75 by 1990. The train only had 11 stations on its route, with the train going straight to downtown Brooklyn and Manhattan in just about one hour from the airport. So, what were the problems with it? To start, there were numerous financial issues with the line, as in its first year, the train cost $3 million more than originally anticipated. John Simpson, the executive director of the MTA during 1980, proposed that the line be discontinued, as its costs had been expensive. However, public backlash of this relatively popular link to the airport had led to the MTA deciding to declare it a permanent line on the subway. Instead of closing the line, they raised the fares in order to keep it running. The line was quite popular, at least among the people who used it. A report released by the MTA on the JFK Express stated that only one in four of the passengers riding the line were actually New Yorkers. Most who rode the line were businessmen coming in and out of the city. Although confident the Express would eventually pay for itself with the increase in ridership, this turned out to not be the case, with the ridership chopping instead of rising. From its peak, when it began around 5,000 riders per day, it decreased to 3,200 by 1989. George Miller, the vice president of the MTA at the time, stated that it would save $7 million and allow the MTA to allocate the subway cars and workers to something more useful and cost-efficient. There was some backlash to this plan, however. People like Steven Berger of the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, the operators of JFK, believed it was short-sighted to close the train to the plane. Nevertheless, on April 15, 1990, the JFK Express was closed for good. Howard Beach, the terminus for the JFK Express, continued to be served by the A-Train, which received an influx of passengers after the Express's closure. In 2003, a new connection to JFK was built. The Air Train, a people mover system, was built between Howard Beach, JFK Terminals 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, and 8 in Sutphin Boulevard Archer Avenue Station on the E, J, and Z lines. It followed the Van Wyck Expressway, like the original plans for a connection to the airport. The air train has exceeded projections with 9 million passengers alone in 2019, and so the train to the plane lives on as a catchy slogan and as a transit service as well.